Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's you here. So today's video is about a palette that I grabbed a long time ago. But I went through all of my reviews, no matter it's videos or you know posts. I think I have never posted anything about it before. I was like, oh my god, how how did this happen? So I had this idea just to do you know just a review of this palette, although it's nothing new. It has been released for more than. Uh, how many years now? Three years. So this is the Biba palette from Natasha Denona. This is her biggest 15 pan, um, like a mega size, and it's sold for $129. I probably got it during like a Thanksgiving sale. Um, I tried to use this palette for a few times. I really, really like it because look at this color story. It's so, so very useful. It's all that earthy tone. And as a um, artist, I would call Natasha, she really plays with these colors and tones. Did you see how these transits from uh, new, uh, the cool side to the neutrals and then kind of warm here? It's just a palette that includes every single aspect of earthy colors. And it definitely has become something that's that I, uh, um, you know, turn towards to a lot in my normal daily life when I, I'm not filming, not a YouTuber or makeup you, uh, reviewer. This is actually my personal favorites among all of the palettes I got from her. And I, I think this is quite a popular palette and also really good, it's um, like reviewed, uh, received a lot of good reviews and things like that. So yeah, today we're just gonna talk about this palette a little bit, um, do a review I should have done a long time before. Now let's dive into the arm swatches and some information about these colors first. Let's see the first row swatches from Biba. Rustic, it's a metallic shade, which is like a copper kind of a color. Prairie, this is a creamy matte. It's a camel color. Cocoa, creamy matte, dark burgundy. Freckle, creamy matte, antique nude. Shine, metallics, champagne color. The second row, Pasha, creamy matte, a red. Monroe, metallics, a champagne pink. Rian, a cream to powder, wet matte. It's a medium burgundy. Buff, creamy matte, it's an antique pink. Tone, which is also a cream to powder, wet matte. It's a clay kind of a color. The final row of colors, Seed, this is a dark chocolate, a creamy matte. Tor, a cream to powder formula, it's a dark gray brown. Sculpture, creamy matte, a light gray. Spot, a dark black, it's a cream to powder formula. Tusk, creamy matte, light beige. So as you can see, among all the 15 shades in Biva, we only have three like uh, shiny shades, which are all metallics. Other than that, all of them are the matte shades. We have like four of them are cream to powder wet matte formulas, and eight of them are creamy matte. So yeah, it's just a very useful, um, almost all matte kind of a earthy palette. And we have each side of the story, the neutral, the warmer and the cooler side. So how about we dive into some demo and see how this work out for us. First, I'm gonna use this tone, which is a clay uh, color, which is like a, a cream to powder formula to give my eye some base. So I really love Natasha Denona's cream to powder formulas when when the shade itself is really good. I mean, sometimes her cream to powder shades could get hard panned right, right away after you use it. But when it's performing well, it's just very, very nice to have that melting to your skin kind of effect. This color is like your own skin, but better it's kind of a base, you know? I really admire that. And this really reminds me of the Tom Ford uh, new cream to powder formula. And as I said, I think Tom Ford's is a little bit better than Natasha's because for some reason, all of the shades from Tom Ford 37 Smoky Quartz 
perform so well and it's still not hard paint yet but for Natasha's it's like a surprise no surprise kind of a feeling because sometimes it's really hard to get a powder onto your brush I guess it's just um, a luck next up I'm using this Sid which is a dark chocolate brown color a creamy matte to give my outer face some definition So I'm also using the seat shade to draw like a eyeline tip because I want to give, you know, the outline of my outer V shade. In the end, I'm just going to use another color to do my real eyeliner, but this has helped me to just um, control everything within the shape. Like my outer V, I want it to be really perfect. Next up, I'm using the buff shade, which is an antique pink to, you know, give color to my inner one half since I'm not using any of the topper shade today. This is an all matte look. And then I'm using the spot shade, which is a dark black cream to powder formula to draw my eyeliner, the actual eyeliner shade. And I'm also using the shade to tightline because it is that cream to powder formula. It's more extendable. So let's see. For my lower lash line, I'm swipe onto the buff shade. And I'm swiping on the Tusk, which is a light beige shade, onto my inner corner, especially my lower lash line. Finally, I'm using the Spot, which is the eyeliner shade, to give my lower lash a little bit of definition, just very soft edges as a uh, lower lash line. Nothing crazy, just um, to give a little bit of definition. All right, so this is our finished look using the Natasha Denona Biba palette. This is a very nice to have a neutrals palette. I just cannot describe how much I love it as a consumer because it's really, really useful. It's probably one of the first palette I would think of when I'm trying to, you know, uh, use Natasha's products to do my daily makeup. This is definitely the first on the list. It's the daily go-to palette. And as you saw, easily created such like a reddish brown or there's like a mixture between yellow and red in this brown story. I guess we can call it terracotta or just that, that maple leaf kind of a vibe. And this is quite an autumn vibe to be honest. However, we're here almost ready for the spring summer season. But here you go. Um, yeah, I love this look. I, I admire how her uh, mattes blend on top of each other, especially across from like textures, from uh, cream to powder formulas to her creamy mattes, which is drier compared to the cream to powder formulas. It's so easy to layer them up. They work together great. They give you that definition. She knows what colors to give higher opacity so that when you're using it, you can feel they're fulfilling their purposes. You know what I mean? Like if you use this color as a base, it's probably you can dial down that color or dial up. But if it's like a depth shade, it wouldn't be like extremely pigmented because she wants to give you that flexibility to dial down the opacity so that you can soft the edges of your depth and just 
get really you know nice and decent eye makeup i feel like i'm no expert here but using her shadows especially her mattes always you know boost up my confidence as sorry that's my email <laughs> boost up my confidence as like a just a daily girl who is trying to do her makeup and she gives me so much inspiration and confidence she's definitely one of my favorite brand makeup artist idol anything so yeah that's today's video i hope you guys enjoyed our little review about this Biba palette i just wanted you guys to see how all of these mattes really really work together like a workhorse in your collection and to my uh very own experience or preference this is definitely among like the top three palettes from natasha denona because it's just useful so yeah i hope you enjoyed today's video i hope you enjoyed today's little setup here we've uh have this backdrop going on i hope you guys see me ne the next time you guys see me we're having the higher definition camera in front of me okay have a great weekend i hope i'll see you in my next video don't forget to subscribe bye